Hey everybody, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Well, I got a problem. And this isn't going to be for everybody, but I'm going to show you how to solve it. Let's talk about weevils. I have showed you folks before how I freeze my flour and then I take it out of the freezer and let it cool like let it bring up come up to room temperature for a couple of days and then I either oven can it or I bag it and I freeze it again I bought this bag of flour back in the spring and I put it in the freezer like I always do. When it was time to put it into storage, I asked Howie to take it out of the freezer for me so I could bag it up. Now I had a tub with what was left of a bag of flour with a lid on it that hadn't been frozen and it got bugs. It got weevils. And before I knew it, when Howie had taken the flour bag out of the freezer and put it on the floor next to the fridge where my flour bucket was, they climbed out and got into the, there was a little tiny hole ripped in the flour bag when Howie took it out of the freezer. And it got, they were climbing in. It was insane, okay? So what I've done is I opened the bag up and put it inside one of these big Costco bags and had Howie put it in the freezer for a full two weeks. And now I'm sifting out any potential eggs or weevils, okay? So you got to know this, all right? Okay, let me just show you what I'm doing and we'll talk as so we go. So what I'm doing is I'm just scooping the flour. It's been frozen for a good two weeks. And I'm just sifting it like this. Now, folks, don't get all freaked out about finding a couple of weevils in your flour. This wasn't, all flour comes with weevil eggs. It really does. That's why I always freeze it first. This piece of corn silk. Um, and so far I've not found, what is that? No, that's just a piece of corn silk. You can see what I'm doing here. And when I get some weevils, I'll show you them if I get one. There was just a couple of them, like they were trying to, they were crawling up the bag and going in the ripped hole. Now, if you think that this flower is no good, then you'd be wrong. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Can you see these little gray bug-like things? Those are what got into my flower. This is not a problem, okay, as long as you get rid of them. Now, if you go back to the days, you know, way back when they used to sail ships and they would they live on hardtack and biscuit and stuff, people would just bang their biscuits out on the table. They'd be hard as rock, knock the weevils out of them, and then eat them. This is no different, except we're taking them out of the flour right at the beginning. These weren't hatching from within the flower because it had been frozen. These were, was an infestation of a partially closed bag of flour that I had left the lid off the tub. See, there's none in there. I mean, it's just every once in a while you'll get a couple. This flower is perfectly edible. Trust me, you just got to sift them out. And then I'm going to bag them up into... Ziploc bags. I'm not going to oven can them. You can oven can it after you sift it, but the problem is, is it's time and energy. See, none in that one either. So I'm just going to get out the few, and as I sift this, I'm going to bag it up. Like I said, you'd be tempted to throw it out, but I'm not throwing out a 25 pound bag of flour for a few bugs 
that I killed off in the freezer. Because once I found that they were crawling, they were get, getting into the bag, I got rid of the other bag, I vacuumed, and then I put this bag, I opened it up and I put it right into the freezer. And now we're just getting the few that got away, right? When I'm done doing all this flour, I'll show you what I got. I was telling my cousin Mary Jane what I'm doing with my flour and she said you're braver than me but the thing is is all flour comes with wing legs it's how you prepare it for storage that makes all the difference in the world so here I have 13 bags of pre-frozen and sifted all-purpose flour and there's eight to nine cups in each bag so 13 times, well, I'm going to say probably, probably 110, 120 cups of flour there. So remember, whether it's a big bag of flour or a small bag of flour, any flour that's going to be in your pantry really needs to be frozen for a week and sifted. Any flour. Because if you leave one cup out, and it's not been frozen and it's not been sifted, it will spread weevils to any flower it can get its little hands on. This is the Miss Wolfie from our half acre homestead saying, save yourself the trouble, freeze it, sift it, store it in a tight container or in the freezer again. All right, don't make the mistake I did. Take care, God bless.